an invasive species is threatening Florida wildlife. So Florida is holding a competition for snake hunters from around the world. America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. You know, I've made a lot of jokes over the years about how Florida is a 447 mile long apocalypse fantasy camp. But I just want to state for the record that I wasn't joking. Florida is terrifying. Do you need proof? As if there weren't enough things in Florida that could kill you between the alligators, the heat, and Florida man himself, Florida is dealing with an invasion of Burmese pythons. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? The Burmese python is one of the largest snake species on the planet. How big are they? Well, this was found slithering across a South Florida highway last week. An 18-foot python captured by three amateur hunters. Now, this snake was captured along US-41 in Collier County near Naples. Yeah, that python weighed more than 100 pounds and is believed to be one of the biggest pythons caught in Florida. I don't know what's scarier, a living, scale-covered speed bump, or the people who see it and think, slow down the truck, I gotta catch me one of those. The Burmese python is much larger than the next biggest python native to Florida. Hulk Hogan's 24-inch pythons, brother! The Burmese python first came to Florida in the 1970s or 80s through the exotic pet market. Shortly after that, they were introduced to the wild, either accidentally or intentionally. Which is shocking. I mean, if you can't trust a guy who buys snakes illegally to be responsible, then who can you trust? According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, the Burmese python's population has continued to increase ever since. It's no wonder since females can lay up to 100 eggs in a single nest. They make their homes mainly around the Everglades, but evidence suggests they may be spreading to other parts of the state. These pythons are the most aggressive invasive species in Florida since retired New Yorkers. Yes, we get it solved. The pizza is better up there because of the water. You've told us a million times already. Burmese pythons pose a serious threat to Florida's ecosystem. They're super predators that eat everything. And I mean everything. They even eat alligators. And they don't even have the decency to deep fry and dip them in ranch first like a true Floridian. According to a spokesperson for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, these invasive pythons are dietary generalists, preying upon native mammals, reptiles, and birds, including some endangered or threatened species, such as the endangered Key Largo wood rat. As a New Yorker, I don't know what it's like to not have enough rats, but apparently they're important for the ecosystem or something. The point is Burmese pythons have led to a huge reduction of animals where they've spread. They've completely wiped out rabbits and foxes in the area. And that's not all. Earlier this year, biologists caught a female python that weighed 215 pounds and had eaten an adult white-tailed deer. I'm surprised we haven't seen any headlines about a python eating Florida man. Or vice versa. Burmese pythons also brought with them a non-native parasite that has wrought havoc on native snakes in Florida. And you know it has to be serious that people in Florida are actually worried about a foreign disease spreading throughout their state. Luckily, Florida has come up with a solution to this problem, and it's the most Florida solution ever. I'll tell you all about it after the break. Welcome back. The Burmese python has invaded Florida and upset the natural balance of its wildlife. To try and stop this, Florida established the annual Florida Python Challenge. That's right, they turned hunting giant snakes into a competition. Why? Because Florida, that's why. We're just lucky Florida couldn't find a way to somehow involve bath salts. This python hunting competition calls on snake hunters around the world, professional and amateur, to come to Florida and try to bag as many Burmese pythons as they can. This year's competition began on August 5th and will run through August 14th. It has attracted over 800 participants. Because who cares about visiting Disney World or Key West 
when you can travel to Florida and hunt down a creature that sometimes explodes while trying to swallow a thrashing gator. While you might see that as Lovecraftian nightmare fuel, others see it as a fun adventure. Gators also seem to be joining in on the hunt. There's a gator with a big dead python in 29 Canal. Big dead python. Big gator too, he can't even take it under. He's trying though. Siri, remind me to bleach my eyeballs later. Thanks. But this competition does seem to be an effective way of capturing Bernese pythons. More than 10,000 have been caught by professional contractors employed by the state. And since this challenge began in 2013, thousands more have been apprehended. According to a senior biologist at the South Florida Water Management District, human detection right now is the most effective tool in our toolbox. When it comes to pythons, we need all the help and awareness we can get. And while this may seem like snake whacking day from The Simpsons brought to life, that biologist is quick to remind everyone that the proliferation of pythons is an emergency situation for our native wildlife in South Florida. Even Florida First Lady Casey DeSantis joined in on the event, kicking off the hunt saying, our family will continue to support conservation efforts in the Everglades. And today I'm doing that by being one of the first out to hunt this invasive species. No word though if there would be a hunt for Florida's other most invasive species. You still have time to compete in the Florida Python Challenge if you want, because who wouldn't want to go chasing after something that eats something that eats you? And did I mention the cash prizes? Awards of up to $2,500 will be given in a variety of categories, including the most pythons caught and the longest pythons nabbed. If you choose to go, here's a pro tip. Not a lot of people know this, but the best bait to use is actually hamburger buns. I once heard an expert say that his giant snake don't want none unless you've got buns, hun. I trust him. After all, he's a knight. So what do you think? Would you want to hunt Burmese pythons? Leave your comments below. And remember, America Uncovered is supported mainly by our viewers. Be sure to visit patreon.com slash America Uncovered. Contribute a dollar or more per episode because we rely on your support to help us keep making great episodes. Or join our exclusive censorship-free social media community on Locals. Check out americauncovered.locals.com. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.